just going to load up a menu here. Now, this one is uh, designed with media queries. Like most uh, responsive designs, we've got the HTML for the menu here, and uh, just a normal CSS uh, menu here with uh, a media query. And uh, further down, we've got a second media query. All right. So what can we do with that? If we want to transplant this from uh, this beautiful site here to a different site, possibly one that puts it inside of a page container, we're going to need to do something about those breakpoints. So in your editor, pop a new file. Let's play with this. I'm going to copy in the HTML. Let's get a preview going. Yeah, it looks pretty gross without styles. So let's copy those in as well. Oh yeah, that's looking better. All right. So this has a little bit of margin on the body. And so you can see that uh, that breakpoint happens around 500. But even here, uh, this menu is going to be just, you know, like, what, 10, 20 pixels more squished than this one is uh, when it makes that same jump. Let's not worry about that. What we want to do is convert this to element queries. So let's get some EQCSS up in this joint. Bam. Looks good. All right. Um, next, let's wrap this. Boop. Element. I'm going to fill it out later. I'll show you why. I'm going to search and replace that. All right. So now let's search and replace everything for this. So for element navx, all of these styles, all the time. For element navx and max width 499, these styles. And for element navx and min width 500, these styles. So we basically have recreated the same menu. But let's do something that that CSS menu couldn't do. I'm going to wrap it. Copy that whole menu in. Boom, boom, boom. And boom goes the dynamite. So each of these menus now is uh, doing its breakpoints when it gets to 500 pixels, whenever that may be. Isn't that pretty cool? So that's basically all there is to it.